Hey, welcome to Today Matters, our short devotional in the Word of God. My name is Pastor Chad Bickley, and I have the privilege of overseeing our great staff and the culture of Skyline Church. One thing that really drives me is being a part of a big vision and working together as a team to accomplish that vision. When you make a big vision, you do not know what challenges and obstacles that come along the journey. That to me is the exciting part of how you stay focused on what the vision and work together by depending on God to get to that finish line. One of my favorite stories in the Bible is the four friends who brought their buddy to Jesus. I love this story because there's five of them which represents a basketball team, which is God's sport. We all know that. I know Pastor Jeremy thinks it's baseball, but it's not. And the great thing is there's nothing greater than watching five guys work together to put the ball in the basket. Let me read to you Mark chapter 2, verses 1 through 5, of the four men who brought their buddy to Jesus. A few days later, when Jesus again entered Capernaum, the people heard that he had come home. They gathered in such large numbers that there was no room left, not even outside the door, and he preached the word to them. Some man came, bringing him a paralyzed man, carried by four of them. Since they could not get him to Jesus because of the crowd, they made an opening in the roof above Jesus digging through it and then lowered the mat the man was lying on. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralyzed man, son, your sins are forgiven. I want to look at a little background to this story. I, I'm thinking this has been a long process with these five guys dreaming of how they're going to get their buddy back to full strength. The, vis the vision probably seemed impossible and hopeless until they heard this man named Jesus who heals people. Then they found out he was coming to their town. I'm sure they're all saying to each other, this is our chance. This is our chance to accomplish a long journey of helping our buddy walk again. As they gathered their buddy up to go meet Jesus, I'm not sure they even were ready for the next obstacles they were about to face. In verse 2, it says this. It says, They gathered in such large numbers that there was no room left, not even outside the door. At this point, I think there might be a lot of people in this position who might just give up hope. But the four men working together had to figure out how will we get our paralyzed buddy through this crowd. This is the moment that separates a lot of people. I do believe the strength of the team was so strong in the vision that they were in this together. The people you have around you are so important to how far you go in life. So the question is, do you surround yourself with people who tell you what you want to hear or what you need to hear? The vision of the four friends was to get their buddy to Jesus. I think it is important that we have a vision or a goal for your family, your work, your relationship with Christ. I think this story illustrates five things that are evident about how to accomplish a goal. The first one, they had a clear vision, a clear goal of where they wanted to go. A vision is essential for any leader to know exactly where they are going. It brings excitement to an individual, family, team, or organization. Without a vision, you are moving in circles through life. Proverbs 29, 18 says, Without a vision, the people perish. When creating a vision, we must begin in prayer and reading His Word to make sure God is leading this vision. Once you see that God is leading the vision, there needs to be clarity to everyone that is involved in the vision. Vision has to know exactly what that vision looks like. Once you have clearly defined where it is going, getting the right people on board to understand it, you have to create a mentality to see the vision through. I believe the second thing we need is a find a way, make a way attitude. We use this phrase on our staff quite a bit, and we define a find a way, make a, make a way attitude as a mentality that perseveres through adversity towards a solution. The four friends vision was tested with the crowds being so big Anytime you have a big vision, you are going to experience adversity. And the bigger the vision you have, the bigger the challenges will be. Having the paralyzed man right in front of them at all times was a clear reminder of the importance of finding a way, making a way. 
This mentality is increased if you surround yourself with others who have the same mentality. The third area in accomplishing a vision is you have to be unified and committed to the process of the plan. Once you have a clear vision and you have a find a way, make a way attitude, then you have to be united and committed to the process of the plan. The solution the four friends came up with was going through the roof. If one of the friends had said, there's no way we can do that, they never would have been a Bible story that would impact so many lives. All four of them were, were committed to getting on the roof, digging a hole and dropping their buddy for Jesus to heal him. The fourth area I see is hard work to accomplish the vision. Once decided the plan is, is going, once, once they decided that the plan of going through the roof, they had to roll their sleeves up and do the job. We can have the best vision, the best plan, but if we do not do the hard work to accomplish the vision, then it's useless. And number five is, is so freeing as a Christian is we just hand over the results to the Lord. Once you go through this process, you got to know that God is in control of the results. Our job is to do the work and he produces the harvest. The results are his results, not ours. You may be going through a lot right now. So I challenge you to create a vision of what it looks like at the end of the trials, get a find a way, make a way mentality, put together a plan and do the work needed to get you through and then let go and let God go to work. What you will find is you will be stronger in your faith as you allow God to work in and through you. Start that process of discovering a vision or a goal today because today matters.